Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Suplex Network here, coming back at you again today for another video, and today we are going to be looking at the legends of Lucha Libre, Juventud Guerrera. Now as you can see on the bottom of the box here, this is made by Boss Fight Studios, and it is a pricey figure to get overseas, especially in Australia here. I'm not sure about the American retail price, but I'll put it on the screen just so you can gauge for a reference for Mattel Basics, Elites, and the Jazzwares figures. So let's take a look at the box as you can see here on the front. It's got the Legends of Lucha Libre logo down on the bottom. It's got his name along the front of the bubble here. It's got the figure shown here. And then it's got the attire that it is based off of. You can see his mask here. It's got the tongue sticking out. Some stars up the top here, along with another logo of Legends of Lucha Libre. Fanaticos, trademark. I'm not sure what that company is, but it's trademarked apparently on the figure eight and up. So um, little seven year olds, sorry, you're not allowed to touch this. You're not allowed to play with this. It's got his name on the side of the bubble here. It's very reminiscent of a Mattel basic package here or an old school wrestling figure package. On the bottom there, it's got all the details like the download the boss fight app. It's got the logos. It's got all the social media for boss fight studios there. And then we'll take a look at the back of the package. Now taking a look at the back of the packaging here, you can see a very low quality picture of the figure itself like this figure i mean this photo is not flattering at all to the wrestling figure like it looks yellow like it looks a lot better in real life like this figure here like the skin tone looks like a mattel wood looks really nice but then here it just is i don't know like it didn't print well in this photo so like it's not doing much if this is what you're going off and not like seeing that you wouldn't buy that you'd be like oh my god this is a hunk of garbage and then it's got his name here Juventud Guerrera collect them all and then in other languages here each sold separately you got Penta 0M Pentagon Jr. there in the Lucha Brothers shirt. Ray Phoenix also in a Lucha Brothers shirt. And then Taya Valkyrie, which I really want to get that figure, but like I couldn't find it online when I purchased this one. But that's one I'm going to excited to be getting. It looks really nice. And then it's got a little bit of a s stats here. I'm not going to read them out, but like if you want to read them, you can feel free to pause that and read that there. But let's unfortunately open this up because it looks really nice in packaging but let's look have a look at the figure itself out of the package all right so the first thing i'm noticing right out of the packaging is the size of this it looks very small i know he is like not a large guy but like if you look at the figure compared to the ring he is super short he comes up barely up to the bottom rope like he should be at least here i'd assume but like they've made him super short, which is kind of weird. I'll do a size comparison to a Mattel Elite and a Jazzwares figure down in the future of this video. But for now, I want to take a look at the articulation up first because it's very weird. So the head is, I assume, is on a ball point. The head is all right. The the articulation on that. The arm is like the basics of Mattel here. You see, there's no join here, but like. More so at the elbow, so he got, he's got the generic Mattel basic articulation. He's got a weird articulation, as if he is a like a Jazzwares over here. And the belt is not sculpted on; it is a set piece that you can like move around. So there's articulation on that uh, single joint in the knee there, swivel at the ankle, and it goes up and down like a normal one would and then he's got like elite articulation for the legs he can get super high kicks up you can do the split so it's got like elite crotch articulation but then basic articulation for everything else it's very weird like combination of the two and then this this one here is also I mean, it's weird, I guess. It's very weird. <laughs> this figure in general is weird. I'm saying weird a lot because, like, it is a, a unique piece, I guess. And now let's look at the head scan here. Well, not head scan. The printing on the mask. It's, it's all right, I guess. Like, it's no high-quality figure like you'd expect from 
a big toy company, but like it's a smaller brand company, so you gotta take what you can with these. There's a random hole on the back there. Um, don't know what what that's for, but <laughs> weird. The attire, very minimum, very basic here. Just red tights and then the purple and white like flame designs on the sides. Nothing on the back, nothing really on the front besides the belt, which is cool. Kick pads, black kick pads, and then he's got the strap underneath, which is cool, like re real kick pads, so they strap onto the, the shoes. But now, let's take a look at the size comparison. And here he is next to a Mattel Elite and then a Supreme Jazzwares, and you can see the size difference is huge. Like, I know Juventud is a smaller guy, but I don't think he's that much smaller than AJ. AJ's not a huge guy, and neither is Cody. So, it's kind of weird to see him just be towered over like he is a... Just so, he like, it's weird to see him towered over guys that aren't aren't huge guys as well so it's a bit weird but let's compare him to a guy probably around the height he is and that's Rey Mysterio and you can see here uh Rey's Rey's taller which I don't believe Rey is taller in real life so that is um a bit weird but like that is probably the best matchup you'll get with this figure his size with Rey so if I'm going to animate with this, I don't know if I will just because of the articulation, which is very weird. Um, that's the matchup I would do with this figure. Like, it doesn't look horrible next to the, like, the Ray figure here. Like, it doesn't look like a cheap knockoff figure. The, the, ta the paint on the torso looks fantastic. It looks just as good as, if not better than a Mattel. There goes Rey Mysterio, but... Yeah, it's just the size which has taken it from me and the lack of detailing on the attire and the mask. Like, it's just flat colours. It should, like... I wish it had, like, some texturing or something on it. I don't know. Probably asking for a lot... Way, like, more than I should be. And the articulation, yeah, it's very stiff. These arms are stiff to move. Um, this is definitely not stiff. It's very loose. But, yeah, um, I rate this figure out of 10. I would probably give it a five at best like that's probably being a bit harsh but like for the price i had to pay for it to be over here in australia i paid more than an elite is and it's not better than elite you're paying just because it's hooven to guerrera and he's not signed to any deal with any company so like this is the only chance you got at getting a figure for of him unless he's signed like a legends deal with wwe or AEW. but for now, this is all you can get at the moment, and it's it's all right, I guess. It's good for what it is, but like it's not. It doesn't compare to what we're getting from Jazzwares or Mattel. So, do I recommend picking this up um, if you're a WCW like cruiserweights fan or just a collector in general? Definitely pick it up. But like, if you're just buying figures for the fun of it and you are a current collector I just wouldn't it's an easy pass if unless you're a fan of the character or the time period that this came from which I am so that's why I picked it up so guys let me know in the comments down below are you picking up this Juventud Guerrera figure you could face Chris Jericho in the AEW who knows um but yeah thank you for watching this video this is your boy Suplex Network signing off peace